okay. So now we have a shopping list for buying this item. Now we need to know the top three. The top three by agreement in the group. What are the three most important things that we must consider when buying this item? So you have another minute or two to consider the most important factor or factors. One, two or three maximum. It wasn't the longest of this. Have you picked the number one on the list now, or number two? Or put them in order, maybe. Put them in order. Okay. Finish off your choices, please, of the top three, top two, maybe, items on the list. So we're calling this a FIP. We're prioritising the items. So do a FIP on the main factors we're considering. Okay, please finish off. We'd love to hear. We don't need to hear from everyone, so if you don't want to speak, that's okay. What we'd like to know is in each group, what were you going to buy? What was the item? And then we'll like to hear the number of items on your list. We don't want to hear the whole list. We just want to hear how many. And then the final question is, what's the top three? Okay. So, and there's an interesting lesson in this. There's an interesting lesson. Let me, um, let me help you explore it. Right. Who'd like to start us off? Which group would like to start us off? Oh, I see a hand already. Okay. So, my three questions. Number one. What item were you going to buy? A pair of socks. Pair of socks, okay. So if you need some socks, this is where to go for help. How many items on the list, approximately? Yeah, 11. 11 items, and what were the top three, please, in any order? Price, colour and brand. Price, colour and brand, okay. There's an example of how we use the CAF and the FIP together. Thank you very much indeed. Another group, please, another group. May we have someone at the back? Okay, go ahead. What were you going to buy? A? a Ferrari. Of course, a Ferrari. Okay, socks here, Ferrari there. Ferrari, okay. How many items on your shopping list? Don't tell us all, just tell me how many. Eight major items, okay. And the top three, please, when buying a Ferrari. How much will it be? Will you get for your cost? And the running cost. Okay, thank you. So there we are. If you're going to go and buy a Ferrari this weekend, you know where to go for help. Okay, so that's the CAF and the FIT working together. Another one, please, another group. Yes, go ahead. What were you going to buy? A PlayStation. A PlayStation, okay. How many items on the list? Nine, Nine items on the list. Top three, please. Okay, cost, how long will it last, and have you got good internet connection? Okay, your choice of the top three. Okay, someone else, please. Okay, go ahead. What were you going to buy? <laughs> so... You've heard PlayStation, Ferrari, socks, goat. <laughs> okay? Don't forget you heard it here first. These are, these, this, is a, this is an important consumer forum here today. You're going to buy a goat. How many items? Seven. Seven items when buying a goat. Top three. This is really important. I do hope we get this on film. Right. The top three items when buying a goat are? The price. The price? It doesn't have four legs. Does it have four legs? <laughs> Three-legged goats, four-legged goats, okay, and where would it stay? and where would it stay? Where will you keep it? Yeah. Important things with buying a goat: always count the legs. Remember, and it should have them in the right places. 
Okay. Thank you very much. Well done. Okay. Uh, did we have more?